Hey guys, so today we're going to do filler, but not the filler that we always see. We're going to do something called Radius today. Radius is a filler that's called hydro calcium hydroxy apatite, and it has a really like strong filler. But today we've diluted it right down, and we're going to fan it in through Nicole's cheeks here because it has biostimulatory properties that's going to help break down some of the acne scarring that's tethering these little, these little marks here down on her skin. So this little part here is called an introducer. So we just make one small little poke here. And then we're able to use a cannula to bend through uh, the rest of the cheek. Most of what we should be able to do just from that one little spot. All right, so this little device here that's on the bottom of the syringe is called a cannula. And so it looks like a long needle, but it actually has a rounded tip on it. And we just go in through the little spot that we made on Nicole's cheek. And it's long so that we can get to most parts of the face just from one little spot. So. So after we've placed in enough of the Radius product into the cheek area here, I fed it all the way through. Just give a gentle massage in this area, make sure everything is nice and smooth and supple. And it works in really evenly throughout the skin and that way you get a really nice even treatment. All right, so when we're treating acne scarring, we're always gonna be using multiple treatments, multiple modalities to try to get the best possible outcome. So, so far you know, at our clinic, Nicole has had a series of microneedling treatments with PRP, which has gotten her to this date, which has been about maybe about a 50 per day percent improvement yeah. about that and so now we're going to be fanning this radius in there trying to break those fibers down and get her skin glowing a bit more and then following this treatment next week we're going to be doing a series of halo treatments for her to break down the scarring and all that tethering with our halo laser all right so you can see i mean nicole has great skin so yeah she's got some acne scarring but the actual like tension on her skin and the thickness of her skin is fantastic but we can use radius for somebody who has that really like kind of crepey skin so the skin has gotten a fair amount of uh, sun damage over the years and you kind of get that accordion skin on the cheeks it's really nice to rejuvenate that and we usually pair that with a halo laser as well to get optimal results so if you come into for a consultation with us and we start talking about radius, we might be talking about hands. It's another really great spot because it, it thickens the skin. So it's a great way that we can use a cannula like this and bend it through the hands to hide those veins and those tendons that start to pop out over the years. So the other place that we really love to use radius is when we're trying to define bone. So along the jawline, the corner of the jaw, we can really get a male's jaw popping really, really nicely. And then we can fan that down towards the chin area and you get about 12 months out of that and we find that it's a really nice filler for that. This is what I look 24 hours post Halo. Um, it looks a lot worse than it feels. I'm totally comfortable today. I'm feeling fine. I'm a little swollen, a little red, but overall uh, not too bad. The treatment itself was not very painful. Um, it was a lot better than I expected. On a pain scale, I would say the Halo was about a four out of 10. There were specific areas of the face that were a little bit more painful. Um, around the mouth and nose area specifically. Uh, the area of my forehead that we targeted a little deeper, I didn't feel that at all. It was totally fine. Uh, recovery has been going great thus far. I, you know, get to work in this lovely place and heal unaltered. I don't have to wear makeup for the next few days. Um, last night I slept with my head elevated. I'm really cautious about sun protection. I wear a hat and I wear sunscreen. 
um, almost daily. So everything's going great thus far. I can't wait to see how this has affected my acne scarring. Uh, that's something that I've been quite self-conscious about. I'm glad I have my acne finally under control, uh, but the evidence of previously having acne is still there. Um, so, you know, the Skinworthy team, ranging from Barb, Dr. Hemsworth, and Nafia, everyone's helping me get my skin in check. I can also thank Megan for the skincare recommendations. Um, I can't wait to see what these results turn out as.